So what is the way of being successful in this life and hereafter? Well, Allah has explained this in the Quran and it's Surah Maida verse number 35. Allah says, O you who have believed, fear Allah, adopt taqwa and seek the means of nearness to Him and strive in His cause that you may succeed. So Allah says here, the first step you have to do is fear Allah. Verse says, Ya yuhallazina amanu taqwa. Adopt taqwa in your lives. So fear here means applying taqwa in your lives. And what is taqwa? To stay away from the things that are forbidden. So first you have to apply taqwa in your life for being successful. Then the next step, Allah says, and seek the means of nearness to Him. You have to find ways to come closer to Allah. And what will be the best way to come closer to Allah? Who will tell us who is our Lord? How to do ibadah of our Lord? It is our Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And Allah says in Surah Ahzab, verse number 21, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أَصْوَةَ hasana. Indeed, there is a good example for you in the character of the Messenger, peace be upon him. So the best wasila to come closer to Allah is the Prophet, peace be upon him. He is the best example for the mankind where you can follow his character, you can follow his footsteps and you can reach to your Lord. So the next step is to find wasila to come closer to Lord and the best wasila is our Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And the final step, what Allah says here is, and strive hard in his cause. The verse says, وَابْتَقُوا إِلَيْهِ الْوَسِيلَةَ وَجِهَادُ after wasila, you have to do jihad. You have to strive hard in the way of Allah. You have to try your best to do things for your Lord. Whether it's battle or whether it's peace. Because a believer is a mujahid. So if it is a time of battle, he will go for it. He will do jihad. And if it is a normal peaceful situation, then he also do his best in this situation. So Allah says here, you don't have to be lazy. In a normal routine, you have to find halal risk. You have to offer your prayers. You have to observe fast. You have to obey your parents. You have to be good with your children, your family. And when it is the time of battle, you have to be the first one who will do jihad in the way of Allah. So it means a believer needs to be aware of the situation, whether he has to do jihad in the battlefield or in his personal normal routine. So you need that kind of wisdom. So inshallah, by applying these three things in our lives, we will see the difference and our life will become the life what Allah wants for us. And inshallah, we will be successful.